So students, okay. Yes, sir. Uh, are you yes, seeing yes. the PDF yes, version CRO and its applications? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So how many have joined? Sir, key. Sir, around ninety-four. Okay, okay. Anyway, I am starting. They will get the recording. Okay. Uh, acha. So this is as stated yesterday. Uh, one noise is coming from anybody's house. Yes. Can you mute? Okay, okay, okay. Now it's okay. Achha. So I told you yesterday that already all students, these 450 students, have got some ideas about CRO from their from your basic electronics ECS 51 lab. Okay. Now, during the discussion of this experiment using CRO, uh, as I have taken the sessional class for section I, I think they have got more or less one idea regarding CRO. But this CRO is included in the last module of your basic electronics series. So today I am discussing CRO and its applications. Uh, this is the topic. And after that, one or two problems related to CRO. Now, what is a CRO? The full name of CRO, I think you know, the cathode ray oscilloscope. So this cathode ray oscilloscope, you see it is one laboratory instrument you have got already from your basic electronics lab. This cathode ray oscilloscope is an extremely useful and versatile laboratory instrument laboratory instrument, versatile, used, you see, this is very important, used for the measurement and analysis of waveforms and other phenomena in electronic circuits. Other phenomena in electronic circuits. Students, as you have got a little bit at least idea on CRO, may I know that <coughs> It is written here that's used for the measurement and analysis of waveforms and other phenomena in electrical circuits. What do you mean by other phenomena? Like your frequency, amplitude. Can I say, students, have you observed this during your laboratory class? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> so, yes, sir. question maybe. What is a CRO? Try to understand. What is a CRO? Your answer is it is cathode ray oscilloscope and it is a versatile laboratory instrument. Why it is used? It is used for the measurement and analysis of waveforms and other phenomena in electronic circuits. Okay, students? Okay? Up to this, any problem? No, sir. Okay. <clears throat> CROs are basically very fast XY plotters that display that display an input signal versus another versus time. Do you agree this? So far your knowledge is concerned from your basic electronics lab. Do you agree this? What I have yes. told you and almost yes. all the things are written here. It displays an input signal versus another signal or versus time. So do you agree, students? Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, yes, you sir. say yes or no? Okay? Yes, sir. Now, okay. Yes, sir. Now, in the usual CRO application, I repeat one thing, that what I am telling, more or less, in brief, all the things are written in the notes, you see, I am telling in details, but the major portions are included in the PDF version of my, uh, that is, slide. So, in the usual CRO application, this part, the x-axis or horizontal input, same name, 
x axis or horizontal input is an internally generated linear ram voltage or time base which moves the luminous spot periodically from left to right over the display area or screen over the display area or screen so do you agree this sentence students any objection from your end or no, you sir. are not getting something no sir okay. no sir very simple okay okay yes students? sir yes sir ha huh. yes sir huh. now what about y axis what you say see this is one very fast xy plotters means like your x axis y axis curve that you have studied already in x axis what we do we apply the horizontal input that is in x axis this thing i have already stated what about y axis try to understand the voltage under examination what i mean to say that the voltage under examination what do you mean by this sentence suppose one unknown voltage is existing in one circuit i do not know the nature of that output voltage what do you mean by nature nature means whether it is sinusoidal or other than sinusoidal non non sinusoidal or non sinusoidal we actually categorically divide the signal waveform into two categories one is sinusoidal waveform the other is non sinusoidal waveform i think you know or you have already got this from the class of this subject under the heading of oscillators do you know students that waveforms are of two types mainly sinusoidal and non sinusoidal so do you know this students yes or no yes sir yes sir yes, yes sir. accordingly what is the definition of sinusoidal oscillators that is the oscillator whose output waveform is sine wave these oscillators are called sinusoidal oscillators and if one oscillator gives us output the waveform other than sine wave we should say that the oscillator nature is or named as non sinusoidal oscillators what i am telling do you know this students or am i telling any new thing is all the things sir, are known uh, we know this thing ha huh? we know this sir we okay. know this okay okay so so you see what about y axis or vertical input the voltage under examination is applied to the y axis or vertical input of the cro moving the spot up and down can you remember students <clears throat> that's the spot moves along x axis also moves along vertical y axis so vertical moving the spot up and down in accordance with the instantaneous value of the input voltage the spot then traces a pattern on the screen which shows the input voltage variation as a function of time all the things are clear to you students okay yes yes sir. Huh? yes sir so in yes, the sir. sessional class ecs 51 all my students they have seen the video of the cro and the experiment all the videos whenever you will come back to our campus that is you will stay at our in our hostels definitely you all meet me and then i shall show you all the experiments physically okay and then okay. i shall tell you that there th this thing i have told you in the class cro so what is this in this way everything i shall discuss during the offline not already you are passing but if you are interested students may come and contact me for details that is offline laboratory class now up to this what are the things i have told you that <clears throat> okay so in okay let me first complete in addition to voltages 
that thing i have told you all these things in addition to voltages the cro can present visual representation of many dynamic phenomena by means of transducers that convert current pressure strain temperature acceleration and many other physical quantities into voltages students have you heard earlier or your electrical engineering class the name transducer have you got yes, transducer sir. yes sir is it this the no, term sir. known to you no yes, sir. sir yes sir no sir no yes sir. i cannot remember okay no sir i am just telling you what are transducers the input for a that is the transducer convert any form of energy into electrical energy that is into voltages okay suppose if the we are that that is the transducers convert current pressure strain temperature acceleration and other physical quantities into voltages okay so this is basically a transducer cros are used to investigate okay that thing is written here you see transducers that is what i told you that the major portions i have written here that is what are transducers although the transducer part is not coming under this basic electronic subject but i have got the scope to define a transducer so i have told you and written here that what are transducers now cros are used to investigate wave forms transient happenings and other time varying quantities from the very low frequency range to the very high frequencies recordings of these happenings can be made by a special camera attached to the cro for quantitative interpretation have you seen one camera that is the display system or camera have you seen there students yes. you have seen yes sir so, yes sir so what are the probable questions may come from cro not i am not talking on about your only that is the interim exam i am talking about any interview that what is a cro you know the answer why are it is used why it is used or why it is used you know so what is basically a cro you will say xy plotters so then question will come what do you mean by xy plotters that already i have told you that x uh, that is the horizontal input what is the case vertical input what is the case okay now come to this point the very one that is the headed headline portions keep in memory all the things i should say but you see that what is going to happen basic cro operation i have told you that what is a cro what is the full name of cro but what are the major things which are present in a cro suppose a doctor should know the what what that the that is in a in one human being what are the major or minor organs or all the things are present where what are the functions of each and every component so a doctor must know similarly being an engineer you must know for any instrument that what are the components which are present in that machine or component at the same time the functions of each and every component or element okay students so, so say you are getting one rlc series circuit you must know what is the function of this r what is the function of this l then this c you have studied already rc coupled voltage amplifier definitely students have you studied already yes, in this sir. basic electronic yes, subject rc coupled so i think you all know the basic that is functions of each and every component r1 r2 re1 ce1 why it is called rc coupled voltage amplifier all the things are known to you definitely yes so i am telling you being an engineer you must know 
what are the things which are present in one instrument and what are the functions of each and every component so accordingly as i am now giving lecture on cro so basic cro operation and what are the things which are present in one cro you see the major sub systems of a general purpose cro okay <coughs> i will show i shall give you the block diagram you see will are shown in the simplified block diagram that will be given you but what are the things you will see the major sub systems are cathode ray tube do you know this crt that in a cro crt is present students you know yes sir no sir do yes, know the no. internal okay question. so this is a question what are the major sub systems of a cro your answer should be one cathode ray tube or crt second vertical amplifier c delay line d time based generator e horizontal amplifier f triggered circuit g power supply now i shall tell you the uh, functions of the uh, each and every thing in short because as requested by all of you i shall give the review of the total thing like as i have asked you that what are the components present in one rc coupled amplifier like this that although all the things have been discussed properly but as requested by you uh, or demanded by you i shall go uh, for this after discussion of this so in short i am telling so these are the major sub systems of a spacecraft keep in in mind cathode ray tube or crt vertical amplifier delay line time based generator horizontal amplifier triggered circuit and power supply the cathode and this is the block diagram that i have told you block diagram of a general purpose oscilloscope although you see from the diagram you it is clear to you that i have drawn it okay but the diagram uh, i am not a yeah, that is very uh, good drawing teacher so in short or i have drawn so you will get the nice picture from your any book or from that is in google you give cro diagram you will get it nicely okay so now what are the things are written here you see input signal is given here a vertical amplifier delay line trigger circuit time based generator horizontal amplifier this is volts per division you know this high voltage is applied to cro cro crt low voltage to all circuits this is the electron gun then this is the crt electron beam is coming here it is the screen you are getting here this way now these are the vertical plates you see v mentioned by v this is these are two horizontal plates and c now try to get the uh, thing the cathode ray tube or crt is the heart of the oscilloscope do you agree students the crt that is cathode ray tube is the heart of the oscilloscope question may be which is the heart of the oscilloscope your answer is cathode ray tube or crt okay students students are you yes, getting huh? yes, yes sir yes sir any problem from whenever i am discussing uh, are you no, facing sir. any problem or it is very simple no, sir. Okay. it is simple very simple sir okay. yes sir okay so the cathode ray tube or crt is the heart of the oscilloscope with the rest of the circuit to operate the crt try to understand this thing that crt is the heart of the oscilloscope and rest of the circuit is there to operate the crt are you getting the meaning students that so yes sir major portion is crt and to run the crt we have the other circuits okay and the total thing is known as cathode ray oscilloscope or cro now 
the <coughs> basically the crt produces crt try to understand i am not talking now about cro the crt produces a sharply focused beam of electrons accelerated to a very high velocity what i mean to say this crt produces you get it produces a sharply focused beam of electrons accelerated to a very high velocity this focused and accelerated beam of electrons travel from a source that is the electron gun to the front of the crt front of the crt where it strikes the fluorescent material deposited on the inside face of the crt oblique the screen with sufficient energy to cause the screen to light up in a small spot should i repeat what i mean to say students are you getting yes you are getting the recorded form you listen to my lecture very slowly and carefully you will get everything i am telling in a very uh, that is common language and very simple language now while traveling from its source to the screen the electron beam passes between a set of vertical deflection plates and a set of horizontal deflection plates you are seeing from the diagram okay now voltages applied to the vertical deflection plate voltages that is you see to all circuits that is voltages which is being applied to the vertical <coughs> what i mean to say that uh, voltages applied to the vertical deflection plates can move the beam on the in the vertical plane and the crt spot moves up and down and accordingly voltages applied to the horizontal deflection plates here okay can move the beam in the horizontal plane and the crt spot moves from side to side that already i have stated that this horizontal deflection plates moves along x axis the spot it is allowing the spot to move along x axis and it is allowing the spot to move along y axis that is why these two plates are called horizontal plates and these two plates are called that is horizontal deflection plates vertical deflection plates okay now <clears throat> these movements are independent of one another so that the crt spot can be positioned anywhere on the screen by the simultaneous application of appropriate vertical and horizontal voltage inputs okay so these movements are not dependent on each other it is that is one will you see that uh, these things are written here uh, is applied to the vertical this thing the signal waveform to be viewed it is written here the signal waveform to be viewed means the unknown signal what i told you that in any circuit what is the nature of the voltage sinusoidal or non sinusoidal so that to be viewed and the signal waveform to be viewed on the crt screen is applied to the vertical amplifier input the gain is of this amplifier is set by a calibrated input attenuator usually marked volts per division you see volts per division okay so this is okay you see this is vertical amplifier the input signal which is to be that is uh, nature to be studied it is applied to this vertical amplifier volts per division what is the case i think you have got during your that sessional class okay the push pull output of the amplifier is fed to the vertical plates of the crt via so called delay line with sufficient power 
to drive the CRT spot in the vertical direction. The time-based generator, time-based generator, you see, develops a sawtooth waveform that is used as the horizontal deflection voltage of the CRT. The positive going part of the sawtooth waveform is linear and its rate of rise is set by a front panel control marked time part division. Okay, time part division. This is controlled by time part division. It is not written here. So you see, this is the time part division. You have got already time part division. The sawtooth voltage is fed to the horizontal amplifier. This amplifier includes a phase inverter and produces two simultaneous output waveforms, a positive going sawtooth, which is called run-up, and a negative going sawtooth, which is called run-down. Let me go through this. That is, this is written here. So, run -out. The positive going sawtooth is applied to the right-hand horizontal deflection plate of the CRT, and the negative going sawtooth to the left hand horizontal reflection plate. These voltages cause the electron beam to the swept across the CRT screen from left to right in time units that are controlled by the time part division control. The simultaneous application, try to understand, of deflection voltages to both sets of plates causes the CRT spot to trace an image on the screen. This is shown in the figure, you see. Where, what we are doing, a sawtooth voltage, sawtooth sweep voltage, you see, this is the sawtooth sweep voltage, or sweep voltage is applied to the horizontal plates, and sine wave signal is applied to the vertical plate. What I mean to say, that, that the caption of the figure, the CRO spot traces an image on the screen when horizontal and vertical deflection voltages are applied. If I see this, this is the vertical input signal. That is, these voltage, suppose I have given here, and sawtooth voltage I have told you that this is applied here. Now, this should come in the CRO screen as per the definition. What is the case? You see that this is one sine wave means starting from zero positive peak, you know, negative peak, positive peak, then the cycle repeats. If I mark it as 0, 1, this is suppose 2, then this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, 7, this is 6. Then you see that this 6, 7. Now you see here also I am marking same division 0, 1, 2, 2, up to 8. Now what we have to do? You draw vertical line. And from this zero, you draw horizontal line, get a point here. Similarly, from one, we are drawing one vertical line. And from one, we are drawing one horizontal line. So in this way, you will get, suppose, zero dash, one dash, two dash, three dash, like this, up to eight dash. And then join using like this, you are getting the skin. So this is basically the operation of CRO, I have told you. So details. Not more than this is required for your first semester students, first or second semester. The other students, I what I mentioned earlier, you will get it automatically during their your higher semesters. Now, next part, which is very important, deflection sensitivity of CRT. Students, am I audible? Students. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Have you yes, got you will not get hundred yes, percent in this way, but some percentage you have got on CRO, okay? Yes, sir, not yes. able to understand full, but uh, maximum I have understood. Ah, maximum? We have understood, sir. You have not understood? Tell me. Sir, we have understood, understood. Ah, okay. So it's okay? Yes, sir. It's okay? Yes, sir. Okay. So, what are the questions? Now, let me say, you need not give the answer. If you do not know, tell me, I shall answer. What is the full name of CRO? I will just give you 
few seconds if i don't get any response cathode osciloscope you know the answer cathode osciloscope you tell me i don't want answer from you if you know okay otherwise you tell no sir you tell the answer what is the full name of cro why it is sir, you know. which is the heart of the cro CRT. How, CRT. What, how many CRT. plates CRT. are there horizontal CRT. deflection plates vertical deflection CRT. plates what are the functions of these okay you have got so if you know and what are the major subsystems of a cro this is written here already i have mentioned okay so this will serve your purpose one last Now, question please repeat deflection any question students yes sir, sir but you have given last question ha huh? last what question what are the major subsystems of a cro you know okay sir CRT, yes, sir. all the F2, things. A2G. It is written here. Really I have mentioned. Okay. Yes, sir. Now, A2G, yes. this is very important. Deflection sensitivity of CRT. Question, maybe, what do you mean by deflection sensitivity of CRT? The shift of the spot of light on the screen per unit change in voltage across the deflection blades is known as deflection sensitivity of CRT. this is deflection sensitivity of crt okay so what is the definition this is the definition the shift of the spot of light on the screen per unit change in voltage across the deflection plate is known as deflection sensitivity of crt are you getting the meaning students due to the application of some voltage we are getting a shift so what is the shift divided by the applied voltage Yes or no? Are you getting? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. For instance, example. Listen to me very carefully. If a voltage of hundred volt is applied to the vertical plates and it produces a vertical shift of three millimeter in the spot, can you tell me what will be the deflection sensitivity? Will I repeat? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Parameters. One. One example. Point zero three. Ha! Yeah. But what is the unit? Millimeter per volt. Yes, sir. Yes, huh? sir. Okay. Ha! Huh? So, yes, sir. what is basically? May I write this? Or deflection is equal to deflection sensitivity into applied voltage. As per as per the definition of deflection sensitivity, may I write this? That is, deflection yes. sensitivity is equal to spot deflection by applied voltage. That is the definition of deflection sensitivity. We do you agree, students? Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Huh? Acha. On which parameters deflection sensitivity depends? Keep it in record. Deflection sensitivity depends on the not only on the design of the tube, but on the voltage applied to the accelerating anode. Yes or no? Voltage applied to the accelerating anode. The deflection sensitivity is low at high accelerating voltage, and vice versa. do you agree sir please repeat this point do you agree students what is the case what is deflection sensitivity spot deflection by applied voltage so may i say that the deflection sensitivity is low at high accelerating voltage and vice versa Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yeah. Inversely, inversely yes, proportional. Yes. Yes. Very simple. I should not say, but suppose one I am the one M C Q is coming. Deflection sensitivity is low. Number one. Yeah. One thing is written. Second one thing is written. Third one thing, and fourth that is D that high accelerating voltage. 
you have to give tick on high accelerating voltage or suppose one thing is given low accelerating voltage so it should be high accelerating voltage yes or no ha huh? yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir now see two problems will you get the deflection sensitivity of a crt is this you need mind that suppose 4 mm it is asked it is asked write the definition of deflection sensitivity of a crt you will write what is the unit of deflection sensitivity it should be millimeter per volt okay students i am telling you repeatedly yes, don't that is do any mistake during exam or any bhaiba bose examination for your future life so it is the deflection sensitivity unit is millimeter per volt so the problem is the deflection sensitivity of a crt is 0.01 millimeter per volt find the shift produced in the spot when 400 volt are applied to the vertical plates okay very simple problem can you tell me the answer 4 mm 4 mm 4 mm yes very simple and second one 100 volt oh okay 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 second one 100 volt 100 volt 100 volt sir please okay. share this pdf in ms teams ha ha yes yes sir, i shall sir. share i shall yeah, share please share all the pdf sir. yes sir because ha. acha so today i have completed so suppose this one or two type this problem is given to you it to solve it i think you will take one second yes or no one second yes, yes. okay you will not say sir you have not discussed in the class what is deflection sensitivity then what i will do i shall just on the recording and we will tell that you listen to it carefully whether i have discussed or not okay students so yes. today uh, okay anyone you stop recording anyone i shall talk to you sir okay. you have that for a tv don't have it uh, no. yes sir you have you should uh? ओके ओके दैट आई हैव टू डू 